What's up guys, I'm back with another video and today before we get into the real topic of this video I'm gonna just talk about what's been going on. I haven't I haven't posted a video in three weeks I've been doing some other things. I've been posting daily content on my Instagram on my Instagram page daily basketball content So I really love it if you've been if if you follow that I've been posting really good daily content on that at handles.nation So I really like if you go follow that and I kind of did a rebrand on my channel. My my channel name is now called Horror Vibes, as you can see if you clicked on this video. Um, I didn't like the blandness of my last name, B Bald Central. It didn't have any flavor, no per, uh, personalization to it. It was really really bland. And I didn't really like the name, so I changed it to Horror Vibes. That name really flowed to me, and I like the name, so that's why I went with. That's the name I'm rolling with now, and, and I will be rolling with for a long time. So like and subscribe if you haven't already, and if you're new, and let's get right into. To it. Last year on June 15th, the Lakers traded Lonzo Ball, Brandon Ingram, and Josh Hart and three first round picks to the Pelicans for the Pelican superstar Anthony Davis. Now, just over a year later, uh, we're going to get into the pros and cons of both sides of the trade. So, let's get right into it, man. About a week before last season's NBA trade deadline, Davis demanded a trade. And in the Pelicans' re response, they said, although we are disappointed in this decision, our organization top priority is to bring a NBA championship to, the, to our city. Relative to the specific talks of trade, we will do this in our timeline, one that makes sense for our team and it will not be dictated by those outside our organization. The Pelicans did exactly that. They took their time and probably got the best trade they could have got. They didn't trade Davis at the trade deadline, and for the rest of the season, there were a lot of drama surrounding the Pelicans and the Lakers. All the young players on the Lakers were feeling expendable, and Anthony Davis, a top six player in the league, were pl was playing 15 minutes while healthy because every everyone knew he was hitting the door. And two days after the finals were over, the off-season blockbuster trade had dropped. As Davis headed to the Lakers, and Lonzo, Brandon Ingham, Josh Hart, and three future first round picks went to the Pelicans. Now let's get into some of the pros and cons for both teams. First, let's talk about the Pelicans. To be honest, this trade looks way better because luckily they got the first overall pick, which landed them Zion Williamson. The reason why I say this is because Lonzo, Ingram, and Josh Hart fit very well with Zion. Lonzo is honestly the best point guard fit wise for Zion because he is a pass first point guard and he's a fast paced player and Zion is at his best in transition. Brandon Ingram is a good fit with Zion because although Zion is a very great player, every, everyone knows he will not be taking the last shot, a tough mid range or a tough three pointer and that's exactly where Brandon Ingram comes in and has shown that he can hit those tough shots at the end of games which makes which, which makes him so valuable next to Zion. And Josh Hart allows the Pelicans to go small because he's such a great rebounder so he can play the four and Zion can play the five. And they can really space out the floor and Zion can be in that dunker spot which gives the Pelicans and Alvin Gentry a lot of versatility and a lot of pieces to play with to make their team as best as good as possible. All the players they received in this trade was a pro, but the only con I have for the Pelicans in this trade is that they lost a top 6 player in the league, and Anthony Davis, and it sucks that they couldn't work out something because he was only 27 years old and they could have tried to build a team around him again. Um, but now they have a, a really promising young core, but that is obviously the one con I have for the Pelicans in this trade. Now let's get into the Lakers side of the deal. The biggest pro obviously is getting Anthony Davis, which like I said before is a top 6 player in the league in my opinion, to pair next to LeBron to make the best dynamic duo in the whole entire league. And because of that, and into my second pro, because of getting Anthony Davis, the focus instantly turned into championship mode, which is everybody's ultimate goal in this league is to win a championship. And because of that goal turning, they turned their team from a young and immature team to a older, more veteran, and mature team, and that's how they turned their focus to winning a championship. In conclusion, I feel like both teams benefited from this trade greatly. The Pelicans have a young core now for the future, and the Lakers got their second superstar to push for a championship. But I feel like 
just by a little bit, the Lakers won this trade because it instantly turned them into a title contender, and that is the ultimate goal for every single team in the league, to win a championship. So that's why I have the Lakers winning this trade by a little bit, but like I said, both teams benefited from this trade greatly, and I really don't feel like a loser, I just feel like the Lakers just won a little bit more. Like and subscribe on this video if you like if you liked it. Um, um, I will be posting content like this every single week. I'm back posting weekly content, and if you want to see some more basketball content, I'll be posting daily content on my Instagram page, Instagram graphics. You know what I'm saying? Um, I'm really getting into that. Um, help me push for 100 um, followers on that and 200 subscribers on this YouTube channel. So like I said, please like and subscribe on the video, and I'll see you guys next time.